So batches and dependencies. Um, we now have this new uh, batch name property um, within our jobs. So with this, we can assign a batch name to multiple jobs, which means that they will be grouped together in the job list. This is useful when a, a group of jobs um, are perhaps interconnected uh, with dependencies, whether those be required assets or scripts, but actually all the jobs, perhaps of different plugin types, um, carrying out different applications, different processes, they should still need to somehow be collected together to um, almost be grouped or batched together because they're all part of a certain show, project, shock, sequence, um, for example. With this, we've also improved job dependency improvements as well, um, and these uh, dependency options can, uh, are now combined in, onto one page. There's also optional overrides, and notes can be set per um, dependency as well. And with the job dependency, the actual node view, um, you can now actually view multiple jobs in the dependency view at the same time. So let's have a look at some of those things. So if you haven't noticed up here, I've got this little pending batch job up here, apart from it actually saying the word batch, which obviously it's just up to you what text you put in there, there's a little uh, arrow here, and if I click on that um, and the indent, you can see that all these uh, jobs are actually grouped together. Um, and if we uh, right click, we can see here that we've got this new property job batch, and uh, we can call this whatever you like, um, and apply that to all the jobs, and as a result, they will all be grouped together. Let's just switch into um, the node view because this is going to be a lot easier to see what's going on here. So now I've actually selected um, this view. It's actually already realized I've got this selected and um, it's just showing me uh, the webinar thing is just getting in the way. So I'll just move that across a bit. That's better. So you can see here that we've got a, let's just move that there for you all. There you go. So you can see here that we've got this group this batch node here, which has actually grouped all these jobs together. This one node here that isn't actually part of this batch is a Python script, and this would be the same with required assets as well, um, if we had them in a job. And these aren't actually part of the batch name because this script could be used for different areas in, in Deadline. But um, all the actual jobs which have the batch name are all um, grouped together. And you can see here that this is effectively a stereo shot. So if I just move this across a bit. You can see here how effectively we've got a couple of scenes, the right eye and the left eye. Uh, you can see how the node view is updating um, as I click on things. You can see the composites from the nuke um, for both eyes, the left and right eye. And then you can see that we're pumping out some quick times using Python and our draft um, post-image um, compositing and uh, video encoding tool to actually pump out the quick times for each of those eyes. So if we actually um, pop into perhaps uh, the uh, dependency section here. So previously, as I said, these three were um, in separate sections, and so we've now got them as three tabs in one section, so it's a bit easier. All the dependencies are in one place. Um, you can see here there's no dependency. The first job in the, queue, in, in, in the, in the order of the chain is the, is the my jobs, so they don't actually have any uh, dependency uh, of another job. They don't have any asset dependency. Ah, oh, but they do have a script dependency, don't they? Yes, they do, and that's this Python script. And you can have multiple um, Python scripts here, and until all of them uh, return true, then you know um, the, the job will not get dequeued by a slave. Um, same thing with assets. Um, you can add uh, individual, multiple assets. You can uh, add them post-submission. You can add them all as part of the submission system. And we're not actually adding the actual physical assets here. What we're doing is just adding the uh, path reference to where those assets are. And, and the assets uh, path referencing is also then supported by our path mapping as well. So if in location uh, A, the stuff needs to render in location B, then we've got path mapping that swaps out paths from location A to location B. Um, and the same thing with scripts. We're doing path mapping before we then execute this, the Python scripts. And it's just limited by imagination in terms of what the Python script can do until it returns true. We're not dequeuing the job. Same with assets. Until all assets are uh, visibly uh, can be seen, i.e. routable on the network from the slave's point of view, then that job's not going to get dequeued. Now, with regard overrides, a great example here is if I just add a, another job. So let's just add uh, this job here. And this is a typical kind of added job dependency. Perhaps we can make uh, uh, a note here. Um, just to remind everybody this is a particularly important job. And it's got completed, failed, deleted for this particular job. And frame dependencies mean that perhaps uh, these have got 10 frames. Um, and when frame uh, 2 um, uh, as, a, as an offset of frame two. So this is the starting frame when the first frame of, of one of this job 
is completed than two of this one, um, where but typically it's a it's a one-to-one -one relationship. But perhaps we might want to add another uh, job uh, dependency in here, um, or add this one here. But really, this is not actually applicable for this job because this job is not the, not a similar kind of nature to this one. So we'll just click on the override and um, we'll save resume, but not on completed. Um, or actually say ignore the frame dependencies. Uh, we need the entire job to be completed before um, and click on completed, of course, um, until this job is completed um, before we actually override, uh, before we release this second job. So you can see here we've got different dependencies um, for each job. And that's the, the new job dependency override system. Lastly, I should just mention, um, and this webinar thing is getting in the way, the uh, traffic like system for testing dependencies. So um, the node view, we know that this is linked to these before it then drives uh, these uh, views down here, before uh, the new comp composites, that is, before it then drives the, uh, the draft um, outputs here. But wouldn't it be nice to actually test the dependencies? Well, we've got this little play button here, and you can see here that we've got different um, color systems here. Um, and if I zoom in, you can see how green means that the uh, Python script has actually returned true for both of these two connecting nodes, so you can see they've turned green. Yellow means it's not yet um, completed, so that's because these scene files haven't rendered, the max scene files haven't rendered before they then drive the new composites, um, which means, of course, then that these won't uh, drive, so uh, uh, this is not uh, passed yet. So this dependency isn't yet active effectively, whereas these are waiting for something to happen. And you can see those dependency chains um, a lot more easily in the view now.